Not much is known about black holes due to their mysterious nature, but now scientists may finally have the ability to observe one from Earth. Black holes are gravitational anomalies that annihilate anything that crosses their path. Recent reports say that one of these objects may come so close to Earth that it may be visible to the naked eye. Let's take a closer look. Black holes are some of the strangest and most fascinating objects in space. They're extremely dense, with strong gravitational attraction that not even light can escape their grasp. The Milky Way could contain over 100 million black holes, though detecting these gluttonous beasts is very difficult. At the heart of the Milky Way lies a supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A asterisk. The colossal structure is about 4 million times the mass of the Sun and lies approximately 26,000 light years away from Earth. The first image of a black hole was captured in 2019 by the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration. The striking photo of the black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy, 55 million light years from Earth, thrilled scientists around the world. Albert Einstein first predicted the existence of black holes in 1916 with his general theory of relativity. The term black hole was coined many years later in 1967 by American astronomer John Wheeler. After decades of black holes being known only as theoretical objects, the first black hole ever discovered was Cygnus X1, located within the Milky Way in the constellation of Cygnus, the Swan. Astronomers saw the first signs of the black hole in 1964 when a sounding rocket detected celestial sources of X-rays, according to NASA. In 1971, astronomers determined that the X-rays were coming from a bright blue star orbiting a strange dark object. It was suggested that the detected X-rays were a result of stellar material being stripped away from the bright star and gobbled up by the dark object, an all-consuming black hole. According to the Space Telescope Science Institute, approximately one out of every thousand stars is massive enough to become a black hole. Since the Milky Way contains over 100 billion stars, our home galaxy must harbor some 100 million black holes. Though detecting black holes is a difficult task, and estimates from NASA suggest there could be as many as 10 million to a billion stellar black holes in the Milky Way. The closest black hole to Earth is dubbed the Unicorn, and is situated approximately 1,500 light years away. The nickname has a double meaning. Not only does the black hole candidate reside in the constellation Monoceros, its incredibly low mass, about three times that of the Sun, makes it nearly one of a kind. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration released the first image ever recorded of a black hole. The EHT saw the black hole in the center of the galaxy M87 while the telescope was examining the Event Horizon, or the area past which nothing can escape from a black hole. The image maps the sudden loss of photons. It also opens up a whole new area of research in black holes now that astronomers know what a black hole looks like. In 2021, astronomers revealed a new view of the giant black hole at the center of M87, showing what the colossal structure looks like in polarized light. As polarized light waves have a different orientation and brightness compared to unpolarized light, the new image shows the black hole in even more detail. Polarization is a signature of magnetic fields, and the image makes it clear that the black hole's ring is magnetized. Black holes have three layers, the outer and inner event horizon, and the singularity. The event horizon of a black hole is the boundary around the mouth of the black hole, past which light cannot escape. Once a particle crosses the event horizon, it cannot leave. Gravity is constant across the event horizon. The inner region of a black hole, where the object's mass lies, is known as its singularity, the single point in space-time where the mass of the black hole is concentrated. Scientists can't see black holes the way they can see stars and other objects in space. Instead, astronomers must rely on detecting the radiation black holes emit as dust and gas are drawn into the dense creatures. But supermassive black holes lying in the center of a galaxy may become shrouded by the thick dust and gas around them, which can block the telltale emissions. Sometimes, as matter is drawn toward a black hole, it ricochets off the event horizon and is hurled outward, rather than being tugged into the maw. Bright jets of material traveling at near relativistic speeds are created. Although the black hole remains unseen, these powerful jets can be viewed from great distances. The EHT's image of a black hole in M87 was an extraordinary effort, requiring two years of research even after the images were taken. That's because the collaboration of telescopes, which stretches across many observatories worldwide, produces an astounding amount of data that is too large to transfer via the internet. With time, researchers expect to image other black holes and build up a repository 
repository of what the objects look like. The next target is likely Sagittarius A Asterisk, which is the black hole in the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. Sagittarius A Asterisk is intriguing because it is quieter than expected, which may be due to magnetic fields smothering its activity. Another study has shown that a cool gas halo surrounds Sagittarius A Asterisk, which gives unprecedented insight into what the environment around a black hole looks like. So far, astronomers have identified three types of black holes – stellar black holes, supermassive black holes, and intermediate black holes. When a star burns through the last of its fuel, the object may collapse or fall into itself. For smaller stars, the new core will become a neutron star or a white dwarf. But when a larger star collapses, it continues to compress and creates a stellar black hole. Black holes formed by the collapse of individual stars are relatively small but incredibly dense. One of these objects packs more than three times the mass of the Sun into the diameter of a city. This leads to a crazy amount of gravitational force pulling on objects around the object. Stellar black holes then consume the dust and gas from their surrounding galaxies, which keeps them growing in size. Small black holes populate the universe, but their cousins, supermassive black holes, dominate. These enormous black holes are millions or even billions of times as massive as the Sun, but are about the same size and diameter. Such black holes are thought to lie at the center of pretty much every galaxy, including the Milky Way. Scientists aren't certain how such large black holes spawn. Once these giants have formed, they gather mass from the dust and gas around them, material that is plentiful in the center of galaxies, allowing them to grow to even more enormous sizes. Supermassive black holes may be the result of hundreds or thousands of tiny black holes that merge. Large gas clouds could also be responsible, collapsing together and rapidly accreting mass. A third option is the collapse of a stellar cluster, a group of stars all falling together. Fourth, supermassive black holes could arise from large clusters of dark matter. This is a substance that we can observe through its gravitational effect on other objects. However, we don't know what dark matter is composed of because it does not emit light and cannot be directly observed. Scientists once thought that black holes came in only small and large sizes, but research has revealed the possibility that mid-size or intermediate black holes could exist. Such bodies could form when stars in a cluster collide in a chain reaction. Several of these IMBHs forming in the same region could then eventually fall together in the center of a galaxy and create a supermassive black hole. In 2014, astronomers found what appeared to be an intermediate mass black hole in the arm of a spiral galaxy. And in 2021, Astronomers took advantage of an ancient gamma ray burst to detect one. Research from 2018 suggested that these IMBHs may exist in the heart of dwarf galaxies. Observations of 10 such galaxies revealed X-ray activity, suggesting the presence of black holes of from 36,000 to 316,000 solar masses. The information came from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which examines about 1 million galaxies and can detect the kind of light often observed coming from black holes that are picking up nearby debris. In 2015, astronomers using the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory detected gravitational waves from merging stellar black holes. This provided scientists confirmation of the existence of stellar mass black holes that are larger than 20 solar masses. There are objects that we didn't know existed before LIGO detected them. LIGO's observations provided insights into the direction a black hole spins. As two black holes spiral around one another, they can spin in the same direction or the opposite direction. There are two theories on how binary black holes form. The first suggests that the two black holes form in a binary form at about the same time, from two stars that were born together and died explosively at about the same time. The companion stars would have had the same spin orientation as one another, so the two black holes left behind would as well. Under the second model, black holes in a stellar cluster sink to the center of the cluster and pair up. These companions would have random spin orientations compared to one another according to LIGO scientific collaboration. LIGO's observations of companion black holes with different spin orientations provide stronger evidence for this formation theory. New reports state astronomers have found a dark black hole only 1,000 light years away from Earth. Just down the road in galactic terms, it is the closest black hole to our planet ever found in a star system that is visible to the naked eye. The invisible nature of most black holes frustrates astronomers who can learn about this final stage of stellar evolution only from the few dozen that have been found heating up an accretion disk. 
swirling gas they gobble up. Recently, however, astronomers have found several naked, non-accreting candidates using a technique borrowed from exoplanet searches. Exoplanet hunters look for periodic shifts in the frequency of the light from stars as it moves toward and away from Earth. This can be caused by the gravity of an invisible orbiting companion tugging on it. A small tug indicates a lightweight planet. A larger tug could be a sign of a black hole. Thomas Ravenius, an astronomer with the European Southern Observatory, and his colleagues studied the unusual star system HR 6819 in this way using a 2.2-meter telescope in Chile operated by ESO and the Max Planck Society. They thought it was a binary system, but there was an extra wobble in the periodic light shifts of one of the stars that indicated something else was asserting its presence. It turned out to be a triple system, with one star in a fast 40-day orbit with an unseen companion and another star on a more distant, slow-moving trajectory. To be sure the companion is a black hole, the researchers will take a closer look at the system. The team has applied for time to use ESO's optical interferometer, a device that combines the light of separate telescopes, to achieve the resolution of a much larger one. Since black holes are not visible, they will check the orbits of surrounding stars and see if one of them is influenced by a black hole. While the discovery seems promising, the team is proceeding with skepticism as most black hole candidates do not survive closer examination. If you enjoyed this video, you may also like this one, which talks about SpaceX's new artificial gravity starship. Do you think this black hole is a threat to Earth? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.